You want some granola? Mum mum. Mum mum? <laughs> yeah, you want mum mum? Hey everyone, welcome to Lockdown Thai Kitchen. Yes, so if you've been following um, my channel, you might have seen the live Q&A that I posted and you will know that right now my filming has been postponed because I don't film at home, I film at Adam's place and since everybody is on lockdown right now, filming is not happening for the next little while. So I thought, you know what, now that I'm home, I might as well show you what I am cooking while we're on lockdown may not be Thai recipes, but it'll just be hopefully something that's useful, entertaining, inspiring to you one way or the other. And by the way, this is my new place that is, the kitchen is um, in the middle of being renovated and eventually the plan is this will be the new hot Thai kitchen set, but because we're on lockdown, <laughs> <laughs> the renovation is now being put on hold. So even though I have no backsplash um, and the cabinets are also still the old ones, we can still make it work for now, okay? All right, so today what I wanna show with, share with you is my ultimate famous granola recipe. So, okay, I say famous it's because it's very good. It's a very good granola recipe that I've, that I've been making for years. My husband loves granola and he eats it all the time and we have just run out and I thought, hey, why don't we just make it? Okay, so granola is very simple. I'm gonna start with, the only thing you have to cook is the oats, okay? If you've never made granola, you may not know, but you only cook the oats separately and then you just mix in the dry fruit and the nuts, whatever, um, afterwards. I'm gonna start with some oil. So I use avocado oil. For those of you who have always asked, hey, what kind of oil do you use for your cooking? It's usually avocado oil because neutral flavor, it's a uh, high heat resistant. The reason why I'm doing oil first, it's actually a very specific reason. You want to come closer to the pot? Um, by the way, my husband is on camera. Yay. So here's half a cup of oil and you might look at that and go, oh my God, that's so much oil. It's also a lot of granola. And the reason why I measure the oil first is so important because the next thing I'm gonna measure is honey. And once you have greased your measuring cup with the oil, now your honey will slide out with such ease that you don't really have to scrape it off. A little bit more, half gun. You can also do maple syrup instead, but we prefer honey. Um, my husband finds that it helps with a seasonal allergy, so we use local honey. Oh, by the way, a shout out to Six Legs Good Honey. This is a fan of the show um, who lives right here in Vancouver and he just gave me a couple of liters of honey that he makes himself. Um, so I just wanted to give him a shout out. It's really good local honey. Okay, so that is gonna go in to the pot and if you're gonna see how easy this slides out of the cup. Watch this. Ooh, look at that. A dream, right? Apart from that, I got half a teaspoon of salt and I use fine salt. In all my recipes, I always use fine table salt, not kosher salt or anything just because it's a standard salt that everybody can get all around the world and so the measurements do differ. If you use kosher salt, you're gonna need a little bit more. Um, and then normally this recipe calls for brown sugar but because I have this cinnamon sugar left over from a few weeks ago when I had a failed attempt to make churros. <laughs> we tried to make churros, it didn't work out very well, but I still have the cinnamon sugar from that, so, and it just happens to be about the right amount. Uh, so I'm gonna put that also into my pot. A little bit more of the cinnamon, probably, because there's, hmm? How much of the sugar? sugar? Oh, a third of a cup of sugar went in there. Um, Cinnamon, supposed to be three quarters of a teaspoon. I don't know how much was in that cinnamon sugar, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Vanilla is three quarters of a teaspoon as well. Although, you know what, vanilla, sometimes I just go glug, 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 and <laughs> whatever goes in there is in there. Okay, so that I'm just gonna put on the stove to melt all the sugar, that's it, so easy. And since I don't have my portable stove, that I usually have on the show, we're actually gonna have to go and use the stove. Okay, it's this one. So this is, let me turn the light on, a new stove. And there's so many knobs and options here. It still takes me a while to figure out what knob I need to turn in which direction to get the right element going. 
Okay, so it's gotten foamy, which is good because that means it's pretty much ready. So I'm just checking that the sugar is dissolved. Pour it onto my spoon, pour it off. See if there's still some granules. Eh, not really. Not anything I have to worry about anyway. So that's it. We're ready to go. Okay, so now I'm going to switch weapon to a rubber spatula. And then I've got some rolled oats here. Original recipe calls for regular rolled oats, but I only have quick oats. So that's what we're going to use. It's okay. It'll still work. And I'm using a rubber spatula so I can scrape everything out. And then just give it a really good mix. And use your biggest mixing bowl. Like if you use a bowl that's like just big enough, you regret it right about now because you're trying to stir everything and things are jumping out of the bowl. So make sure it's plenty big enough so that you can stir with gusto. So at this point, you could theoretically give it a taste just to taste for like how cinnamony and, you know, sweet and salty you want it. But I've made this recipe so many times that I know it is exactly where I want it to be. Okay, I've got my oven preheated to 325. I've got this sheet pan. This way. My baby monitor is right here. I have to keep have keep to keep an eye on him so that I'm not too loud and then wake him up from his nap. Okay, I may need to bake this on two different sheet pans, so I'm just gonna spread it out. in a thin layer. Okay, I think I can do more. And my one tip about baking a flat thing like this is you'll notice sometimes that when you bake like a tray of nuts or whatever, the middle is less cooked than the edges, right? So what I do sometimes just to make things more even is I don't really put things in the middle. That way I don't have like a patch of undercooked things that I have to worry about as much. Mmm, I can really smell that honey. Okay, and that's it. These are then going to go into the oven for 10 minutes and then you stir and then you bake another 10 minutes. And what you're going for is they are crispy. That's it, so easy, right? So the other thing that I also put in my oven along with the granola is the coconut, the toasted coconut. It's optional, you don't have to add it, but if you want to, you can add a little bit as much as you want. So let me just show you here. There you go. And as you can see, I did the same trick of leaving the thing in the middle and you see how nicely evenly brown that is. I did have to turn it around halfway through because the back of the oven is always hotter than the front of the oven, or I don't know, every oven is, is different, but there's usually one side that is hotter than the other. So I just turned that around, but I'm not getting any like white spot in the middle. So it's a good trick to know for things like panko as well, or nuts, anything that um, that is sensitive to uneven browning. And it is smelling good now. I smell the cinnamon, I smell the honey, and definitely the toasted coconut is in the air. So the granola is done and they have cooled. Oh, and also the baby is now awake. So my husband is now on baby duty. So y'all are on a tripod right now. So you're not gonna see as many uh, close-ups, unfortunately. So it's now cooled. So it's been cooling for a while. I did end up having to put this one in for 25 minutes total because I think I piled it a little thick. This one only took 20. And when they first come out, it's not gonna, be crispy because it's hot, right? The sugar and everything is still um, soft. But what you wanna go by is the color should be a little bit darker, a more darker brown than it was going in. Okay, so take a mental note of the color. And then once it's cool, then it'll be crispy. Aha, look at this. Look at this, yes. Mmm. Oh, it's perfect. And I kind of prefer actually quick oats because they end up being lighter and crispier because the pieces are thinner. So rolled oats are going to be bigger and thicker. And so it's a little bit chewier, I guess. Like it's, it's, it's harder to chew um, 
So whatever you have, it'll work. So now for the fruits and nuts side of things, I have cranberries, sultana raisins, uh, toasted coconut, uh, pecans, and cashews, but you can put whatever dried fruit, whatever nuts. We usually also put chia seeds, but my husband took a, the bag of chia seeds to his office for breakfast, for his breakfast in the office, and then forgot to bring it before a lockdown. Now the office is on lockdown, so our chia seeds are gone. So that's okay. I'm just gonna put all of this into my fruit bowl. See this? I just love this so much. This like lace. Anyway. By the way, the parchment paper, this can be reused. If there's like stuff on it, just give it like a little wipe down with some moist paper towel, a moist towel or something, and then you can reuse it. When I used to work in a bakery, we reused parchment until it was no longer reusable. So I'm just gonna break this down. This giant piece of granola. I think I need a bigger bowl. Ta-da! And that's it! I hope you found that helpful. This is a great lockdown recipe that only uses um, pantry ingredients, no fresh, nothing frozen. Once you make it, keep it well sealed in a cool, dry place because there's oils and there's nuts in there, which will eventually go rancid. Um, if you've made too much, you might want to stick some in the fridge to make sure that the nuts and the stuff that doesn't go rancid before you can get to it. All right, you guys, I hope you're staying safe, you're staying sane, you're staying healthy. I hope you're all doing well given the strange circumstances that we found ourselves into. I'm gonna continue to upload more videos as much as I can um, at home to keep you guys entertained and uh, to give me something else to do other than being with a baby. <coughs> Look, we're gonna go into the kitchen. We're gonna go into the kitchen and say hi to everybody. Hello! Hi! Hi! You're okay now. You want some granola? Mum mum. Mum mum? <laughs> yeah, you want mum mum? Oh, not for you. Too hard maybe? Mm. Ooh, one day. Mom, mom, bye.